Good morning. This is your morning sip. Whatever you're having, coffee, tea, apple juice, pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, whatever you're having, please have with Jesus Christ. Me, I'm having some hot water this morning. Um, today, you will still find me coming back to you from a, a topic, a hot, steamy topic a virtuous man versus a virtuous woman, or a virtuous woman versus a virtuous man. And we are seeing this coming down, and I'm so thankful to, for all of you that have been engaging in this conversation that has been engaging in this, this study and we are coming down this is our final final portion this morning and we see where we, we spoke of a virtuous woman the last time versus a virtuous man and we talked about this person that your children is connected to or your child is connected to or who you are connected to is a person of wisdom who does not eat the bread of idleness who um, when they open their mouth, they open their mouth, they um, say her children rise up and call her blessed, um, her husband, and then say many daughters have done well, but you, ex you, um, you, excel, you excel above them all. We talked about that, how she shines like a diamond, bright like a diamond, or, yeah, or he shines because he knows what to do, he knows what to say. So now we're down on our final um, um, two last verses and we're gonna verses and we're gonna go right into it. It says, "Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised." Say, so give her of the fruit of her hand and let her own works praise her in the gates. So we are talking about we are taking gender out of this thing because we want to know that you know we want to look beyond just our physical appearance. We want to go into the, in depth, into who we really are. You say, the mind of the man make it the man. That's what my mother always said. So we want to say right now, say, 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 charm is deceitful and, be and, and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. So a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. What about a man who fears God? Who knows how to bring his children up in the fear and admonition of God? Who knows how to bring his family to the to the altar? Who knows how to pray with his family? A woman who knows how to lead her family in prayer. A woman who, in, in, in the midst of doing all of these stuff and being an industrious, knows how to bring her household before the house, before the kingdom of God. Uh, a father who knows how to bring his children. That is the real beauty. When you have love, when you have kindness, when you have, it's, it's not that physical appearance, you know, because I've seen some people with beautiful faces, facial features and nice physiques and everything, but inside they are dead, they are ugly because of what they allow to spew out of their mouth. And every time they open their mouth and the garbage come out, you want to know that the person that your child is connected to, that you are connected to, um, that your children are connected to, are uh, persons that are beautiful inside and out that they have such qualities and 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 because you know that your, your looks will fade it's only what is done for christ is gonna last what we do what we possess on the inside then he said give her of give her of the fruits of her hand and let her own works praise her in the gates or give him of the, the fruits of his hand and let his good works praise him in the gates so whatever you do in this life make sure that you all are people that we all are people of good virtues of good values that when we leave the scene of life that people will be able to talk about us and say listen to me i remember uncle earth he was a man of wisdom or i can remember aunt jane she was a woman of wisdom that she gave wisdom when she opened her mouth the only thing spewed from her mouth was wisdom when she spoke she only brought things that that made you feel good inside that that you that you're a person who does not just sit down and eat the bread of idleness that you're a person who goes out there and make ends meet for your family let's bow our heads in a word of prayer father god we pray for those persons that have been struggling father god that have had um, turmoil in their life because they were connected to persons who did not have good values that did uh, what, what that, that were not virtuous father god and, and and even some of us do an introspection of ourselves oh god to make sure that we have proper virtues and father god wherever we are falling short we ask that your holy spirit will guide us and direct us oh god and father god that we will be people of value oh god that we will bring something of great value to this earth that we will be a precious stone within this earth oh god and father 
Father God, that when you were to come out and send the call for us, O oh God, Father God, we'll be able to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant, because we have lived the virtues, we have lived good virtues, we presented good virtues to this world, we have given good values to this world, O oh God. And so, Father God, we have been people of that, that of hope, people of peace, people of contentment, O oh God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. So today, if you love this broadcast, please go out and share it with your, your family, share it with your church group, share it with your school groups, and help someone to know that Jesus Christ is Almighty to save. It has been a pleasure sharing on a virtuous man versus a virtuous woman and a virtuous woman versus a virtuous man. I pray that someone has been blessed by this and I pray that some family nucleus has been strengthened. It has not been to bash any gender. As you can see, we stayed in this um, topic. We tried not to bash anyone, but we tried to give good sound doctrine. We pray that this word has been a blessing to you. May God bless you. May you go out and may you have a wonderful day today. And help someone to know that Jesus Christ is still mighty to save. God bless you all. This is your morning sip.